Hello students, today we will discuss Prandtl Universal Velocity Distribution Equation for Turbulent Flow. So let's start. So before going to derivation of Prandtl Universal Velocity Distribution Equation, so certain terminologies are very important. Reynolds gives one theory for a turbulent flow. So, in the turbulent flow, shear stress between two layers of a fluid at a small distance apart is given by tau is equal to rho u dash v dash, where u dash v dash are the fluctuating component of velocity at x y direction. So, dash represent fluctuating velocity due to turbulence. And if you take the time average, then your tau bar is equal to <coughs> density, velocity component, v dash, u dash, this bar. So it's represent, this line represent average. So Prandtl mixing length theory. So mixing length L, small l, is defined as the average lateral distance through which a small mass of fluid particle would move from one layer to another adjacent layer before acquiring the velocity of the new layer. So as you know in the turbulent flow, the mass of a one layer try to move to the another adjacent layer during that period what happened so this is the distance at which it it will move from one layer to another layer before acquiring the velocity of the new layer so this is the l <coughs> so here u dash v dash are the fluctuating velocities which is related to the mixing length L. So you can write U dash is equal to L du by dy and V dash also similarly L du by dy. So they are in same actually that's why we are putting this one. So average velocity For x y direction <coughs> you can rearrange and you can write l du by dy into l du by dy so it will be l square du dy square and now it became tau is equal to rho l square del u by del u square because this tau is equal to rho u dash v dash bar so from here we are getting this <coughs> now if you consider if you consider viscous action also into the equation then the equation became tau mu du by dy plus rho l square du by dy whole square and this is given by Prandtl mixing length theory so Prandtl universal distribution equation velocity distribution equation this is velocity distribution equation so as you know from the Prandtl mixing length theory, we will get tau dash is equal to rho L square del u del y whole square. Here this L is depends upon proportional to y. Y is this axis. We are considering well white like this. This is your x direction. This is y direction. So mixing length 
from layer to layer depends upon y so l mixing length is depends upon this y and so l is equal to lambda y where where lambda is called is called Kármán universal constant which value is 0.4 <coughs> and turbulent shear stress remains constant in the vicinity in the vicinity of the wall in the vicinity of the wall so this tau naught is equal to tau is equal to rho which will be lambda squared y square du dy square <coughs> from this equation you can write du dy is equal to 1 by lambda y root over <coughs> tau naught by rho so here uf which is called shear friction velocity or shear velocity which is equal to root over velocity at the uh, shear stress at the wall divided by rho so here du by dy is equal to 1 by lambda y uf shear frictional velocity or shear velocity <coughs> So from this equation, du df 1 by lambda y. So if we integrate by integrating the above equation with respect to y, we get u is equal to uf lambda log y plus c so log y plus c so as you know this is the pipe this is diameter this is your center line so this is your r this is the radius we are considering this this is x this is y <coughs> so let's apply boundary condition boundary condition so at y is equal to r y is equal to r <coughs> you will get u is equal to max so here it will be like this <coughs> okay so your u max is equal to u f by lambda ln r plus c so from this equation you will get c is equal to U max uf ln r so if I put the value of c in this equation this is suppose equation number one so from one from one we 
get u is equal to uf lambda this is y plus u max minus uf lambda l r or you can write or you can write u is equal to u max plus uf by lambda ln y by r so this equation is called Prandtl universal velocity distribution of distribution equation and this equation is valid for smooth and rough boundaries of a turbulent flow so if you observe here in this equation one this equation is logarithmic in nature so that's why the velocity profile is logarithmic now if i put the value of lambda is equal to 0.4 then your equation became u is equal to u max plus 2.5 uf ln y by r so this is your Prandtl universal velocity distribution equation i hope you understand this one so the equation is u u max plus 2.5 this is u f ln y by r now you will get another form of this equation this is called u max minus u divided by u f is equal to 2.5 ln y by r or 5.75 this is log to the base 10 r by y this is actually r by y this is r by y r by y this is called non dimensional form of Prandtl universal distribution equation so from this equation you can derive carbon Prandtl velocity distribution equation for smooth pipes which is given by u uf 5.75 log to the base 10 uf y this is mu plus 5.5 this mu is kinematic kinematic viscosity kinematic viscosity and same for rough pipes Kerman Prandtl velocity distribution equation for rough pipes bu uf 0.75 log 2 double is this here y by k into 8.5 so k is 
average height of the roughness average height of the roughness due to turbulence now to solve the problem this terminologies are very important hydrodynamically smooth boundaries this is k this is the roughness k by delta dash less than 0.25 delta dash is laminar sublayer if roughness divided by laminar sublayer delta dash is greater than 6 then this boundary is treated as a rough and in between 2.5 and 6 is called boundary in transition so this can be same can be done in terms of roughness of Reynolds number also that is UFK divided by kinematics viscosity for smooth boundary UFK by mu less than 4 for rough boundaries UFK by mu greater than 100 in between 4 and 100 it is transition greater than 100 rough less than 4 smooth so I hope you understand Prendel universal distribution velocity equation and also those boundary condition regarding the theory of this thing this please go through the book and try to understand thank you i hope you understand thank you